What's up guys, it's Punchy, and today we got a banger deep open update with a ton of content, a bunch of new options that we can test out with today's weekly content patch, and yeah, I'm loving it. Starting off strong, we have new bells, and seriously, it's been a while, but we've got some fun new ones to give a shot, and yeah, this is good. If I'm being honest, these bells are more like tools in comparison to weapons, so don't expect them to be immediately strong. You have to think about this, and they will work with your build, but they're very fun regardless. Let's start off with the smokescreen bell, which absolutely perfects the obscuring meta and i talked about this earlier this week making the darkest hard to see build possible with the shade wisp and shadow cast and yeah it's the best for this playstyle and very very broken with the smokescreen bell you place down an extremely dark cloud of smoke which makes the user entirely invisible while they stay inside this zone when using an m1 or mantra the user will exit this smoke cloud canceling this resonance and that's kind of unfortunate yes but this bell has a lot of capability for running and zone control it seems like the intent of the smokescreen is to allow the user to initiate a sneak attack or run away from combat and you gotta pick one with this bell so it lets you do that easily. Now the corrupted version of this bell is something special and it's pretty interesting. So by casting your normal screen you can press C again to release three extra clouds and TP to a random one and it's very good to escape in tough situations. The next option we have is an interesting mix between the reaper and res bell. So this bell is called preservation and it has a lot of potential for trolling I think. Instead of healing or hurting players on the ground the preservation bell grabs them in a golden floating orb allowing you to do whatever as they follow you around and yeah it might be a little bit useless i don't know you'll have to be creative with this resonance because that's honestly all it does but it is funny when attacked these bubbles pop eating a hit and knocking people away when this happens and it's supposed to protect your grab target and work effectively so players cannot steal them the corrupted version of this bell straight up gives your bubbles auto parry frame protection just like duke and it's very very strong it's like a portable wisp that parry people and I highly recommend this. The smite bell is also new and it summons some orbs that target onto players and deal some very good damage and these orbs are pretty fun and the corrupted version which I'm going to be using makes them red and automatically fires and these stack and do some solid damage. Onto our votes upon voidwalker changes, voidwalker exp has been overall increased ramping up as you target higher level players and because of this change pve experience including events, mobs, and boss fights has been reduced so you have to be focusing on player driven combat. This was voted upon by the community and put into the game. Next up we got some awesome performance changes so if you got a lower end PC or even a good PC every single monster works better and does more. After this a huge optimization improvement has been added essentially rewriting the code of every single enemy in Deep Woken. It's a very confusing concept I won't lie but this change allows mobs to become multi-threaded allowing them to perform more complex actions while running parallel to server functions. In short extremely less lag with monsters and enemies even when there's a ton of them. Huge improvements with this and hell mode might even be doable without any lag. Onto some balancing, it seems like the Vision Shaper Oath's Illusory Realm was targeted because of some obvious issues and a lot of players would fail to catch people or exit the realm on purpose in order to run and heal and that was bad game design. Using Illusory Realm to reset the fight and heal to full was not very fun for anybody and yeah, it was removed. So, if you fail to catch a player for 5 seconds, rest or use Warrior's Response fights even run away, the Vision Shaper realm should end. And that's all for now, but if you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe for more exclusive Deep Woken content. As always, have a good one. It's punching time.